When we're talking about the blue and gold Bulldogs of Nashville, we can only be talking about Fisk University. We see you. What up, y'all? It's time for another 100 HBCUs in 100 Days, powered by the Black-Owned Underrated Report. And today is all about Fisk University, started in 1865, just two years after the Emancipation Proclamation by John Ogden, the Reverend Erastus Milo Kravitz, and the Reverend Edward P. Smith, named in honor of General Clinton B. Fisk of the Tennessee Freedmen's Bureau. First classes were held January 9, 1866. The ages ranged from seven to 70, but they all had similar experiences with slavery and poverty, and they all had a great thirst for knowledge. In order to raise money, Fisk had to get creative, and so they started the world-famous Fisk Jubilee Singers. They set out from Nashville with the college's entire bag, the entire treasury, October 6, 1871, to try to raise money, and raise money they did. They raised enough money to keep the college going and enough money to build Jubilee Hall. Now, Jubilee Hall is significant because it is the South's first permanent structure built for the education of black students. And in 1930, Fisk became the first African-American institution to gain accreditation from the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. Then in February 1978, the entire Fisk campus was designated as a National Historic District. Notable faculty, W.E.B. Du Bois, Booker T. Washington, Ida B. Wells, Charles Spurgeon is like part of the VIP list of black history. Notable alumni, Kim Whitley went there, Miss Nikki Giovanni went there, and John Lewis, RIP, student of Fisk University. Shout out to Fisk for the dope history and the exciting future. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to grab your copy of the underrated report for more stories like these. Just click the link in the bio, drop your email, and it'll be on its way to you. Thanks for watching. Be cool. Who y'all want to hear about next?